Season 14 of Sea of Thieves is officially launched. There was a bit of a delay this morning, but we're going to get into it. We're going to check out all the basic stuff, the new abilities, the things that we have access to today. There were some things that are delayed right now. We'll also check out the Plunder Pass and the Emporium. And I want to know your honest thoughts, views, opinions regarding the Plunder Pass. Feel free to let me know below in the uh, comment section. Well, Season 14, not just the Plunder Pass, but... The, the season as a whole, as of launch day. So as you can tell, we're going to have a new ability, crouch. So press R3 to crouch. So now I can crouch. While crouch, you'll be harder to see, move more quietly. Your name will be hidden. Hold down the down button to get the disguise radio. Okay, so we can disguise ourselves from the beginning as either a barrel or the sailor's chest. And we'll, we'll go over the accommodations in a minute because you'll be able to eventually unlock other chests that you can disguise as. So, so you can unlock, purchase more disguises in the clothing shops. Okay. So I guess you're going to be able to purchase some as well. <clears throat> so we'll check that out too. So it's going to be in the vanity chest. So now I'm a chest. <laughs> I identify as a chest now. The only downside is you move kind of slow as a chest. Or is a barrel? <laughs> so we'll switch. We'll switch. Uh, won't let me switch. All right. So I, I guess once you you can't change from like a chest or a barrel. So we'll, we'll make we'll uh, do this again, and then I'll switch to a barrel. All right. So there is the barrel emote. Some of you are aware of that. The difference is the uh, barrel emote doesn't allow you to move. It's a stationary emote. I guess it's faster to like switch to the barrel emote than it is to creep, like go down in creep mode and then switch to barrel. But this one has its own benefits because you're able to sneak around and just act like you're a barrel and just casually walk over here. Like I'm going to hang out with my fellow barrels. Hello, barrels. Uh, it's just us hanging out, <laughs> which, which is the real barrel and which two are the, uh, well, actually one of them is not real. The other two are. So that's kind of cool. All right. Neat. So we know how to do that. So let's look at the accommodations. We'll try and keep everything uh, linked together with uh, the theme of the uh, the event. So I believe it's going to be in Bilge Rats, I think. Uh, Pirates of Mischief is the uh, new accommodations with Season 14. So we got three pages worth. So there's uh, combinations revolved around the grapple gun, uh, the darts, the blowpipe. So we got that. So page two, detonate gunpowder, uh, dance of danger. Okay, so I'm just looking. At, okay, so the traps. Oh, yeah, that's something I want to tell you about. The uh, traps and uh, hanging off the edge of ships, I think that's temporarily disabled. Like, they mentioned something about that earlier. It will be eventually activated in the game, but uh, they're having issues with it this morning. So no traps at the moment and no ability to hang off ledges or the edge of ships for now. So anyways, the accommodations, that's where you can find them. And they say various shops are where you can get the chest, but I thought the chests were locked behind the... Uh, the accommodations so that's kind of confusing but anyways let's see what do we want to look at first when it comes to okay here's the shop so vanity i'm guessing is it probably equipment i think equipment makes sense okay that's the weapon shop this clothing shop so where's the equipment shop on this island i'll look in here real quick just to see if there's anything new all right so let's look at the stock so it's usual hats Probably nothing new here. I mean, it's, it's always possible to me add some new things. Ah, disguises. Okay, so the clothing shop is where you get the disguises. So, yeah. So this is how you do it. Okay. So treasure chest disguise. Uh, grade 5 in poison pirate uh, repeat offender accommodation. Coral Marauder is uh, completing a uh, covert corsair conqueror of uh, sunken kingdoms. The King's Chest, uh, Creeping Commodore, Grade 3, uh, Treasures Fit for King Commendation. Uh, Seamaster's Chest is Rusty Bucket Bay, Grade 3, 
and a gold raider. So you have to get both. I guess you have to get both in order to get the chest. We'll unlock it so you can buy it. So you'll have to buy these after you unlock them. Uh, the stronghold chest is uh, hidden in plain sight, as well as scourge of skeleton ships, chest of the damned, power of three, and grade three in scourge of the damned accommodations. And these two, the chest of legends disguise, uh, pitfall practitioner, then in uh, grade five for hoarder of Athena's fortune, and finally, the Chest of Fortune Disguise, Bewittering bow, Blowpipes, as well as Grade 3 in the Fortune's Favor. I think these two are, ironically, probably the two chests you don't want to disguise yourself as. You probably want to go for something less conspicuous, like uh, the Seamaster's Chest, or the King's Chest, or like if you're specifically like in an area that the, the Marauder's Chest would work for you, like below the ocean where the Sirens are or like a regular chest, treasure chest. The problem with the regular treasure chest is people like to use these treasure chests to put items in. So the jig will be up the moment they're not able to open the chest and put items in it. So you may not want to be that chest either. And this one is specifically revolved around the, the phantom ships or like the Veil mission where there are like chests of the damned. So you'd have to use this chest specifically for that situation. So I think that the King's Chest, you can find King's Chest on sunken ships and you can dig them up and the Seamaster's Chest as well as the uh, regular chest that you automatically have as a disguise whenever you creep down. So the Sailor's Chest, yeah, I mean, it's the, the lowest tier chest, but it's also like the least obvious. You could just throw yourself into a pile of other chests and then they would just grab it without thinking about it. But at first, most people are going to expect you to be disguised as this and the uh, barrel so don't be surprised about that okay let's look at the weapons so we got the uh, armory here and by the way uh, the armory now is uh, crew only so enemy players can no longer uh, board your ship and open your armory they can open everything else up like the ammo box uh, barrels uh, storage crates and get stuff out of those the uh, sailor grapple gun so we'll grab the, the sailor grapple gun and we'll also grab the uh, blowpipe so we're going to try these two out and we'll, we'll eventually move on to the uh, Plunder Pass in the Emporium. Let's see, Blowpipe, R2 to fire darts. Uh, when your Blowpipe is equipped, open the dart. Okay, so so you want to aim with... Okay, oh, ex explosion, oh shit. No, explosions. So you aim with L2, or depending on which uh, joystick you're using or controller. I'm using a, I'm using a PS5 controller, FYI. So you aim with uh, you know, the left trigger or R2, and then you move around, it's not too bad, and then you fire with the right trigger, but how do you decide, how do you, uh, I guess you hold down this one, okay, yeah, hold down, uh, what, L1, or what, LB, yeah, and then you have blow, blowpipe options, then you have three different ammo types, we've talked about this a few days ago, you have a max of four for each, uh, black powder is temporary, like, uh, it's, uh, timed, where it's a small explosion, it does some damage, I don't think it insta-kills. You have ability to counter it if you're hit by it by jumping into the water or have somebody throw puke on you. Uh, the poison dart, basically a snake poison, it can eventually kill uh, anyone that, that's hit by it. And the lure dart, so this one I'm kind of interested in because you can use it to make uh, other pirates think that there's like tons of treasure, like, like over here on the uh, shoreline, and you can like I guess set a trap and be like Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. So you can do this with these four. And apparently like you can also use it to lure in NPCs, right? So you can lure in enemy NPCs to a target. If you happen to be on an Island, like not an outpost, but like an Island with like skellies, ocean crawlers, etc. And if you hit the, the enemy player with one of those lure darts, it should attract uh, like skellies and other NPCs on the island to come after them. So I don't know how effective the lure dart's going to be, except for that one thing to lure enemies towards them. But it's probably the the one that'll be used the least. So the next one is uh, the poison dart. So it's purple. And since I don't have another player to demo it on, as you know, this is basically what it is. It's the same thing as when you're hit by a snake, so nothing special there. Okay, so now let's switch to the grapple gun. 
So the grapple gun is going to be a lot of fun. Let's look at the range. How, can the grapple gun get me up there? So, you know, uh, L trigger or L2 to aim. And then uh, I missed. Maybe the range isn't as good as this one. Or uh, Maybe I aimed a little too high. Let me aim a little lower. No. No, I was aiming pretty low there. So maybe it's... Maybe I'm not able to get up there. Maybe I can can get onto this one. No, okay, that, that that's kind of disappointing. That doesn't seem that far away. Or can I just not like get up there? Maybe it doesn't work on the outpost cliffs here. I think this is Galleon's grave. Okay, well that's that didn't help. Well, it got me on top of this building. Okay, so I can. All right, so. One thing I think I've discovered is every time I shot, it's ammo. So you can only have up to five uh, grapple uh, arrows, hooks. So you have to go and refuel them. I I thought this was going to be a little different, to be honest. I thought it was going to be like you, you have just like one arrow or one hook, and then when you pull it back, it just recharges instead of it being like a ammo type so where is an ammo box yeah it might take a quick minute to find an ammo box but yeah i'll have to play around with the grapple gun a little bit more i'm sure it's going to be fun once people get used to it but the fact that i the range was too far up there i, I thought that would be reasonable but i don't think this is going to be a very good um, offensive weapon i don't know how effective the blowpipe is going to be let me know what what do y'all think about these new weapons uh, are you intending on using the blowpipe or just for the accommodations? This is what most people are probably going to do is they'll try to get the blowpipe accommodations and they'll never use it again unless they just find a, a purpose for it. The grapple gun could be useful, but the fact that it's limited to five uh, rounds at a time before you have to reload is kind of unfortunate. But once again, the only part you can hit on... Uh, the uh, sloop and the brig when you're trying to board enemy ships is you have to hit it right here at the ladder for uh, sloops and brigs. Uh, the galleon, the big part of the galleon at the back, you can also hit the back of the galleon to land on the back of the galleon. And I, I guess for the burning blade as well. So yeah, those are the two new weapons. I can't show off the traps because they're still disabled. And unfortunately, I can't show off the, uh, the sneaking onto, the, you know, hanging off the ledge because that's not available either. So we can't do that. But I'm going to see if I can find some myrrh fruit. Because there's supposed to be myrrh fruit. But that's clearly not fruit. I don't think those are very edible. Because I wanted to show that off. Well, I think you have to cook the myrrh fruit. But they're supposed to be available like in barrels and stuff. So you, you should be able to come across them. Oh, there it is. The myrrh fruit. Okay. So here's the myrrh fruit. Interesting fruit. Cook it to enhance and prevent myrrh folk from coming to your aid. So... For tuckers, for stealthy players, you're definitely going to want the uh, myrrh fruit. And don't eat it before you cook it. Cook first, eat after. So you definitely want to wait before you eat this. I, I don't know what happens. What happens if I eat it now? Let's try it. I'm guessing it'll make me sick. All right, it just won't work. So far, my character's not throwing up. So maybe it doesn't make your character sick. But at the same time, it, it won't work unless you cook the mar fruit. So you want to cook the mar fruit before you actually consume it in order to use it you know, as a, a means to tell your uh, mar pal to go away for a few minutes. Here, uh, go on a, a break. Go uh, find some crabs or lobster while I do this sneaky, tucky thing that I'm going to do because I don't want you to give away my position. <laughs> So yeah, the Mar fruit now available in the game. I guess now's the time to go check out the uh, Plunder Pass. So let's go check out the Plunder Pass. So go to the Pirate Log as usual. Season 14 ends in 14 weeks. So what Season 5 ends up being, who knows. All right, so Season Progress. The gold stuff at the bottom is obviously the stuff you have to pay for. The stuff at the top is the freebies. So... The Inner Sanctum Hole. So the Inner Sanctum Cosmetics will be at the bottom. Uh, you'll be able to get a Shadow Tide Beard for uh, Reward 2. And 3 and 4 will be some free gold. And then there's going to be a uh, Level 5 uh, Shadow of the Fox Makeup. 
and some ancient coins for everyone that bought the plunder pass. So that that's gonna be kind of cool for uh, Riley, my fiance, Riley Black Fox, because she's really in the foxes. So she's really excited about the cosmetics this season. So you get some uh, doubloons, ancient coins, the usual drip. Uh, level ten, you're gonna get the Castaway of Mischief, and uh, Plunder Pass will be the Inner Sanctum Cannon Flare. Moving on to uh, eleven through twenty, more coins, more uh, doubloons. At level 13, you're going to be able to get the Inner Sanctum uh, Capstan. And then level 15, you're going to be able to get the Shadow of the Fox Flag, which is, I guess, a fox tail. It would be cool if it was actually like a fox head. I think it would be cool if it was a fox head instead of the tail, but it's okay. All right, so at level 17, you get a couple of uh, free hairstyles. Shadow Tide, Suave Hair, uh, Shadow Tide, Serene Hair. Then level 20, you're going to get uh, Skin for your Blowpipe, the Shadow Tide Blowpipe. And then Plunder Pass will be the Inner Sanctum Belt. So we move on to 21 through 30. The Shadow Tide Belt. And uh, the Plunder Pass uh, reward level 23 is the Inner Sanctum Flag. And we're going to get a Shadow Tide Ninja uh, Mask at level 25. That's for everybody. So we move up to level 30. The Shadow Tide Gloves. And for the Plunder Pass, the Inner Sanctum Will. So now going to 31 through 40, 33, everyone's going to get the Shadow Tide shirt. Then 36, everyone's going to get the Shadow Tide scar, along with obviously you know some gold, some doubloons, some ancient coins. Level 40 will be the Shadow Tide dress, and Plunder Pass reward will be the Inner Sanctum figurehead. And then going to 43, a free pair of Shadow Tide boots. And, of course, uh, Plunder Pass will be the Ancient Coin Cash as we move on up to level 50. Level 50, all players are going to get a Shipmate of Mischief. Plunder Pass, you'll get the Inner Sanctum Hat. If you're a Pirate Legend, you'll get the Ghastly Grey Moral Beard. All right, so let's move up to 51. 51 is a free skin for your throwing knife. The free level 51 reward for all players is the Shadow Tide Throwing Knife which looks like a kunai, so that's very fitting for the uh, cosmetics if you want to go all ninja. And I think this might be a, a skin I consider using for my throwing knife because I don't really have any skins for it. Uh, 55 free reward, uh, Shadow Tide Trousers. And then going to level 60, you're going to get a skin for the grapple gun, the Shadow Tide Grapple Gun. Then Plunder Pass, you'll get the Inner Sanctum Cannons. As we move on to level 66, where you'll get this shadow peg leg, which looks like a sword for your peg leg. I wonder if you could actually use it. Like, maybe use it as like a third sword. <laughs> like, you have two weapons already, but then somehow you could use it. I know you can't use it. It'd be funny if you could, though. Next is level 70. The shadow tide pistol. And then plunder pass reward is the inner sanctum cells. From 71 through 80, we got at level 76. Uh, shadow tide hook. And then at level 80 is the Shadow Tide Fox Mask. The Plunder Pass is the Inner Sanctum Jacket. From 81 to 90, 84, all players will get the Shadow of the Fox Tattoo. And uh, 90, everyone's going to get the Shadow Tide Jacket. Plunder Pass will get Inner Sanctum Collector's Figurehead. Then on the final stretch at 91, Riley's really going to be wanting this. The uh, free Shadow of the Fox sails for your ship at level 91. See, it would be cool if it was like that fox as the flag or maybe a version of, of that flag. You know, instead of a tail, you could get the one with the fox head. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so let's go to uh, 96. 96, ooh, I'm going to love this. A katana, the uh, Shadow Tide Cutlass. I mean, it's a katana. Why don't they just call it a katana? And uh, finally, at level 100, all players get Legend of Mischief. And the Plunder Pass is the Inner Sanctum Collector Cells. And if you happen to be a Pirate Legend, you will receive the Devilish Duchess Dress for completing the Plunder Pass for Season 14. All right, so that's all the rewards when it comes to the Plunder Pass. Let us go look at the Shipwright real quick. Because I am kind of concerned about the uh the fox uh cosmetics for the ship either they're in the emporium which we'll look at in a moment or they're over here in the shipwright 
So let's go into the shipwright real quick. We'll go specifically to the figurehead. So let's go to page three. All right, so it is on page three. Okay, so, so here it is. Okay, so if you want the Shadow Tide figurehead and the rest of the figurehead cosmetics for your ship, there are accommodations attached to it. So Riley is going to have to unlock the Demon of Disguise commendation so that she can get her Black Fox on her ship. <laughs> I'm sure she's going to be like, challenge accepted. So what else do we get with the ship skins? And chances are I'll probably miss something that happens. So this is the other flag, the Shadow Tide flag. Looks like a ninja throwing star. It's okay. But once again, I personally would have preferred a, a fox for the flag. But, you know, it is what it is. The Lucky Ann flag. Okay, so a ship livery or ship skin. Livery. A Shadow Tide hull. Uh, you got to earn it by getting the Bewildering Blowpipes accommodation. See, uh, sails. Let's see what do we got. Okay, so Shadow Tide Cells, Grade 5, Secret, Snarl, Setter. Okay. All right, so I think that's... These are already in the... No, this one might be new, I think. All right, so let's move on to the will. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to catch everything. I try to get as much as I can, but there's some things I'll miss, unfortunately. The Shadow Tide will. That, this is something I'm sure Riley's going to want, along with other Fox Enjoyers. The Shadow Tide will. Sneak Thief Combination. And then I think that's it for the ship. If I miss it, I miss it. Anyways, let's check out the Pirate Emporium. All right, so what do we got in the Pirate Emporium? Plunder Pass, obviously. Okay, so we got some Skeleton Pets Bundle. Grapple Gun Skins. The Coral Coven uh, Ship Collection. We'll start with uh, Captaincy. So the Coral Coven Ship Crest is almost 600 Ancient Coins. Uh, Coral Cove and Trika, 249 Ancient Coins. So moving on to pets. I think we have a few pets. Uh, the Coral Coven Cat is available for 649 Ancient Coins. And I think there's some there's some Skelly ones too. So I don't know. Are all these new or just, just the Skeleton Owl and the Fox? Or maybe they just bring some of these back for a limited time. So let's we'll go ahead and look at all these real quick. So we got a skeleton, a little pet bundle, which includes a cockatoo, the Morrow set, little monkey. We got the big bundle too. So we got a skelly owl. We got a skeleton fox. These two are the new ones: the skeleton owl and the the skeleton fox. I'm sure if you're like if you like foxes and I guess you're a reaper like my friend Bounty who's got the uh, Skelly Curse, he might end up getting this. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. But there's also the Skeleton Cockatoo, once again the Marmoset, and then uh, the Skeleton Mao, and then the Skeleton Doggo. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think I'll I'll pass on on the Skelly Pets. Yeah. All right. So the uh, Grapple Gun few different skin options for your grapple gun. They're all 249 ancient coins each. The Iron Turtle, Motley Mariner, Deadlock Jailer, King's Ransom, Lodestar Grapple, of course you have to have a Lodestar, and the Crimson Crip Grapple Gun skins. Wait, wait, no, there's a page two, there's a page two. There's only one on the page two. Uh, Dark Warsmith Grapple Gun. All right, so blowpipes. Blowpipes, there's only three options at the moment for blowpipes in the Emporium. Once again, the price is 249 ancient coins. Uh, Lodestar, Dark Warsmith, and the Crypt's Encrypt blowpipe. To be honest, I think I'll just probably wait until I get uh, the skins in the Plunder Pass. I'll just use those instead. So you do have a free item, the Stingtai Blunder Bus, so you might want to go ahead and grab that because it's free. Now, you may never use it, but I mean, free, hard to pass up on that. So there's some uh, other stuff. Uh, crystal uh, ball emote. So you like doing the crystal ball thing? I I guess uh, the cannonball is supposed to be a crystal ball. I, I don't think it is. Anyways, uh, here's a new emote. 999 ancient coins for, for this. Oh, it's, it's for each one. Okay. So... 
the Coral Coven clothing bundle. So it's a clothing bundle. You can get uh, the uh, hat, you can get the dress, you can get the belts, uh, the gloves, uh, the boots, each of these individually, or you can get it all together for 999 ancient coins. All right, so that's not the emote, but there, I think there is an emote. We'll look at it in a minute. Uh, the Coral Coven weapon bundle. So if you like any of these, you can purchase them as a bundle or separately. As a bundle, it's 999. Uh, individually, it's 249 each for the, the Coral Coven blunderbuss, the cutlass, the double barrel pistol, Eye of Reach, the grapple gun, throwing knives, as well as the regular pistol. All right, so is there anything else? Uh, turtle weapon? Uh, yeah, I already did that previously a few weeks ago. So let's move on to ships. And I think the, the, big, the big one that's selling right now in the Emporium is the, the Coral Coven ship collection. So once again, you can buy the whole bundle or you can buy it individually. So for this whole bundle, for the Coral Coven ship bundle, it's 249.9 ancient coins individually. Each piece is 349. The Coral Coven cannons, capstan, figurehead, flag, flare, will, sails, as well as the hull. Well, there's also the collection skins. There's always collection skins. Uh, $79.99 for the Coral Coven collections uh, figurehead. And then for the uh, collector's sails, it's also $7.99 ancient coins. So, yeah, that's uh, the uh, newest skin in Sea of Thieves for your ship. Very well themed for Halloween, the Coral Coven ship skins. A few more things before we officially wrap up over at uh, Sea of Thieves official X account. Twitch drops going on from now through October 21st over on Twitch with your favorite Twitch streamers for Sea of Thieves. Uh, details, I'll link that below in the description section. Usually it's Sea of Thieves you know, slash uh, Twitch drops, pretty easy. Uh, you got the Season Sailor Pistol, Sage Sea Dog Shovel, Sage Sea Dog Drum, as well as a Voyage, so Bounty of Flameheart's Devote Captains. I thought there was a different uh, Twitch drop item, but I guess not. Not really impressed with the Twitch drops, but in case you're curious, most of you that do the Twitch drops for Sea of Thieves, you know the drill. You know, link your account together, your, your Sea of Thieves account with your Twitch account. Go watch your favorite Twitch streamers for a few hours and then uh, claim the various uh, Twitch drop rewards. I also want to include these issues that have come up uh, courtesy of Sea of Thieves info and support. Our team are aware of some issues being found following the launch of Season 14 working to fix them as soon as possible, which is Stitch's bundle not currently awarding the Coral Coven cat, meaning that this pet may not be received immediately by all purchasers. However, the cat will be granted automatically to eligible purchasers when the issue is resolved. So if you're wondering why you didn't get the cat when you bought it, you'll get it eventually once they fix the issue. Players are sometimes not seeing other pirates correctly adopt a disguise, despite what the player may be seeing on their own game. The team is investigating this, and they're going to provide an update as soon as possible, so disguises might not be working so well. Okay, not really good, Rare. And finally, the Chest of Fortune is currently appearing on both the Fort of the Damned and Burning Blade. I personally don't have a problem with this, but apparently Rare does, when it should only be located on the former during Season 14. So they're moving the Chest of Fortune back from the Burning Blade to the uh, Fort of the Damned for this season. Whereas in last season, it was on the uh, Burning Blade. I hope they create something unique chest-wise for the Burning Blade, but I guess for season 14, it'll just be all the usual loot items that you expect, like the Ashen Skull and a few other trinkets and the storage cases as well. But yeah, the uh, Chest of Fortune is officially returning to the Fort of the Damned and well, I mean, isn't it supposed to be the Four of Fortune, not the Four of the Damned? Anyways, those are the issues currently plaguing Sea of Thieves that I am aware of. Yeah. Once again, currently the traps are disabled and the ability to hang off ledges of ships and, well, ledges. <laughs> the hanging ability is disabled for now. Hopefully Rare will get those fixed soon. 
And uh, we went over the uh, plunder pass, the uh, blowpipe, the uh, grapple gun, the crouching ability, the disguises, the accommodations, as well as uh, the uh, unlockable uh, cosmetics for your ship, uh, Fox theme, which Riley will very much enjoy. Season 14 of Sea of Thieves has officially begun. And it's off to a, kind of a rocky start with the delay earlier this morning. It didn't launch as early as people were expecting. And the fact that there are certain items that are currently not in the game because of some issues. But hopefully they'll get those issues resolved and we'll have the traps and uh, the, the hanging off the side of ships and ledges ability eventually. Your thoughts, views, and opinions regarding Season 14 of Sea of Thieves so far. Welcome, as always, below in the comments section.